Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and today is going to be a collection tour video. Now these are all the figures that you see behind me in most of the videos that I do here on this channel, but now I want to get a closer look so I can show you exactly what's going on back there on those shelves. This here is a mainstays display that I picked up at Walmart a few years back and it was a pretty good price then, but probably not so much now. But in case you're wondering where this came from, it came from Walmart. Now most of the figures on this shelf is going to be from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line, which is a line that I really got into when it was first released and for a few years afterwards. And the release schedule is so crazy now, I can't keep up with it, so I don't buy them nearly as much as I used to. But here are some of the Superman that I tried to have divided on the left. We got Eradicator there, we have the Bizarro Superman, we have Superboy Prime right there and just all different types of variants. There's Red Sun Superman hanging out in the back. Black Suit Superman, he is one of my favorites. And really the one that started it all right there, Superman Unchained. Really awesome figure, only 20 bucks at the time, it was great. And then as we move over here, we get into the Batman stuff. There's plenty more Batman, but this is just where some of them begins. So there's Dark Knight, Dark Knight's metal Batman, and he's on that really cool cycle right there. We got some Azrael right there. Hell suit Batman, Hell Bat suit Batman, Batman Beyond. Batwoman Beyond, and it's pretty much all of the ones that are hanging out back there. So that is shelf number one. Bringing it down now to shelf number two. Filled to the brim with pretty much all Batman and different variants of Batman. So I don't know, I forgot all the names of them, but I think this was like one of the Dark Detective Batman, like right there. So this is the Tim Fox Batman from DC Future State. And uh, they were supposed to come out with an unmasked version of him, but I'm not sure if they ever did. I don't remember ever seeing it. Maybe he came out and I just missed it, I'm not sure. But there's Red Hood there with the motorcycle from the Batman movie. I thought it was fitting. We got Robin from the Arkham Knights video game. Wonder Woman, one of a few different Wonder Wo Women. And then we've got uh, John Stewart Green Lantern there, back when these figures were still allowed to come with guns. And there's another woman, woman, Wonder Woman there. There's another one back there in the dark. And then Wonder Woman 1984 there in the back. But here are a look at some of the other Batman figures here. The one way in the back right there, that's the one that Todd McFarlane designed. Got the Batman in the straight jacket there with the Joker head in the jar. That one is really awesome. And then the Dark Knight Returns armored Batman just hanging out in the back. Coming down to this shelf here, more of the Bat folks. Now these are some of the larger figures. Um, I think this was Earth One Batman. I forget, there's so many, but he looks like Doomsday, but he is not Doomsday, but there is a proper Doomsday coming out very soon with Superman in a two pack. All right, I forgot the name of this guy here. Totally forgot the name of him. Another Batman variant. This was a Build-A-Figure, the very first Build-A-Figure from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. There we have the Thomas Wayne Batman. And again, this guy came out at a time when the guns were still available with the character. So he came with two pistols there. And then we got some Jokers over here. And this is just one of the Jokers from the three Jokers line. So it was the Comedian, there was the Clown, that's the Clown, and then there was also another one, I forgot the name of it, but the Gangster, maybe? Well, there's one right there. There's another Joker. He's got the camera. Yep, there's that camera right there. Really cool Joker. And then... Man, the Batman Who Laughs. Really went nuts with the Batman Who Laughs in this line. Uh, I got a couple different versions of him. And there's one of his Joker pets. And then there's the Robin King. Robin King was a bit of a shelf warmer, but I still like him. And then here's some more Batman variants. Got that Green Lantern Batman over there. Let's see if I can brighten that up just a little bit more. 
There's the Grim Knight, absolutely just loaded with the guns. The Drowned, which was another uh, shelf warming figure there. There's Joker from the Arkham games. And there's the infected Batman, who eventually turns into the Batman who laughs. And then we have Joker all hopped up on that. Uh, I forgot what kind of drug he was hopped up on in the Arkham games when he became the Titan Joker. And then we've got the very first Bane that was released. He was a Build-A-Figure, and he was one of the most frustrating Build-A-Figures to put together. Uh, but it's still a really cool figure just to look at. Moving down here, we've got some Turtles stuff. Mostly from NECA in their TMNT line. So this is the movie stuff right up front. So there's Casey Jones, April O'Neil, Donatello, Leonardo, Master, Sh Master Splinter there. A couple different uh, variants of Raphael, one with a trench coat, one without. Then Michelangelo. Uh, the ones in the front are from the first movie for the most part. And then from the second movie, they are in the back. And there's the Shredder, Shredder from the first movie. Shredder from the second movie, way in the back, Super Shredder, a couple different versions of Super Shredder. It's got the Ooze, Toka, and Razor in the back as well. And then we have um, Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Saki. All right, so those two guys came in a two pack. Kneeling down a little bit more, this is going to be where the Toon Turtles are from the cartoon show. So I don't have nearly as many of them because I honestly don't remember much from the cartoon. I didn't really want to keep buying figures and I didn't know who they were. But just looking at this here, I got a couple of the turtles, not all of them. There's Shredder right there. We got Rocksteady and Bebop in the robot form. Krang in his android body. That one right there is like an old school one that I had when I was a kid that I still kept. And... The regular versions of Bebop and Rocksteady. A couple of Triceratons in the back. Pizza Monster right there. This is where I keep the Back to the Future stuff and uh, there's, there's room for others. So we just got a couple of Doc Browns from 1955 and uh, 2015. And then Biff as well. Biff and Griff. Marty McFly from the first movie. And then these two guys have the hardest time standing up. Got the Marty from Back to the Future Part 2, and then the hazmat suit Marty. They're always falling, so I'm just going to leave them there. But that does it for this shelf. Now let's take a look at the main display. So everything starts off here with Funko Pops, and I was so big into collecting Funko Pops years and years ago. I don't collect them anymore, but I still just kind of wanted to have that memory, so I just keep them up here. As you can see, many of them have just fallen down. I'll clean that up eventually. But this is just a small, small sample of those Funko Pops. I mean, I probably had like over 250 of these things in this. This is just a small, group of them got some exclusives here and there and then here's the second shelf here those teen titans portraying other dc characters those were toys r us exclusives uh let's see we got colossus shredder iron man and captain america i think that was one of the first dioramas that they did a few different spider folk back there dr strange some dc stuff here Wonder Woman, Joker, Batman, and then some Dragon Ball Pops as well. My kids took a couple of them. I think they were both Goku. But those are all the Pops that's on this shelf here. Now coming down here, we got a collection of some more Dragon Ball stuff. And as well, some other things from NECA. Such as... There's Rocky Balboa and Clubber Lang, Apollo Creed, and Ivan Drago from the Rocky movies. And then next to them, we've got Superman versus Muhammad Ali. That was a two-pack from NECA. Christopher Reeve Superman right there. Adam West Batman. Both of those are from NECA. This is a video game version of, uh, I think, the Michael Keaton Batman. And then this is the Mezco 112 Collective 
Dark Knight Returns Batman. This was the previews exclusive version. I think this was the first uh, Mezco 112 figure that they released and it's just blown up since then. And this is NECA's Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker. And I think that it looks better than the one that McFarlane came out with recently. And then this guy here, Two-Face from the old DC Collectibles line. Then in the back, there's Dragon Ball stuff, really. Frieza's second form. Uh, there's Tally from Mass Effect. Back there, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta I actually painted this guy because he was completely gray. He was one of my first statue paint jobs. So I painted him up. Let's take a look at some more of these. We got Gotenks, Trunks, Vegito, I think. Super Saiyan God, Frieza, and Goku. And some more Goku. And some Ultra Instinct Goku as well. And then there's our Gohan. And then there's our good friend Broly. And then some smaller Dragon Ball figures up front of Frieza in his different forms. King Cold. And then Deborah and Zarbon. And then here are the Jada Toys Nano Figs, Nano Metal Figs. Uh, and this was from their Street Fighter line years ago. And these in the stores, they only cost a dollar a piece. I got on the Hulk Buster and I got a Sting there. But yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're made of metal and they were only a dollar. <laughs> How times have changed, right? All right, let's go down. All right, bit of a tight squeeze here, but here's some Nintendo stuff from the world of Nintendo line. All of these figures are older figures, but I really still do enjoy them because, you know, it's kind of historic to me, kind of just showing off the whole journey. So a whole bunch of different different characters from Nintendo, including these little 8-bit versions here out in front. Then in the back, well, there's MODOK, Marvel Legends MODOK. But uh, there's Bowser right there, Bowser Jr. Let's see, we got uh, Ganon back there. And then this is the Hulkbuster, Marvel Select Hulkbuster, the zombie Sabretooth also from Marvel Select. And then we can get a little bit further back there. There's Carnage, that's also Marvel Select, as well as Gambit there. And then over here, Storm Collectibles, Marcus Phoenix and Coltrane from Gears of War. Here are some Team Fortress 2 figures from NECA. I wish I could have gotten all of them, but I think these were part of like a, a restock or we found some in the warehouse and we decided to sell them again, but I never did get to see the other ones. Uh, this is a NECA 2-pack from Contra. And then we also got some Mortal Kombat Shao Kahn right there. We got Jimi Hendrix, that's Amigo. Another Marvel Select for Loki there. Codable Kia, Incredible Hulk. Marvel Select, Incredible Hulk. And then a couple of the Square Enix Play Arts Kai line. So that right there is going to be Scarlet Witch in the back. And then we have Robin right there. And then way back there is another Marvel Select and that is going to be for Deadpool. And at the very bottom of this shelf, wrestling figures that I don't collect anymore, but when I did, it was fun. So a whole bunch of different wrestlers back here. WWE wrestlers. If you know who they are, then you can totally pick them out. I was really into it for the belts. This one right here is a SH Figure Arts Stone Cold Steve Austin, along with the SH Figure, Figure Arts The Rock and SH Figure Arts Triple H. They had a heck of a sale on those some years back. And there's Stone Cold again, and then some Power Rangers and some that have fallen. There's Billy there, he's fallen. White Ranger back there. Another Play Arts Kai Hawkman right there. There's Lord Zed. And Turbo Man. Pride and joy, Turbo Man. All right, so we got a couple more things to look at. Let's check it out. All right, so this display right here is the glass display case, the Detoff from Ikea sitting on top. Big old Thanos, that's a Funko Pop, and then just some random figures that are up here. That right there is a Barbie, the Batman right there. That was something that the Barbie line came out with, but I thought it was cool because it's all cloth and everything. 
There's Link, big old Link from World of Nintendo. Kind of goes hand in hand with Mario there. Mr. Incredible. And there's uh, Jack Jack. Is that his name, Jack Jack? And then Vault Boy from Fallout and some little mini figures. Inside the glass display case is going to be some Dragon Ball stuff from Ben Presto. I love myself some Dragon Ball. So, got ourselves a Nappa, Shinron, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Goku with his angel wings, the spirit bomb Goku, Goku, Goku Black in his rose form. Then down here, we've got Cell, I believe that's his second form, taking on Vegeta, Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta. Oh no, Bob Ross fell down. Well, there's Bob Ross. Oh man, I feel bad now. And there's his painting right there with his easel. One Punch Man, Goku, and Gohan, those two go together. Krillin with his Destructo Disc, love that figure. And then down here, mostly the Simpsons. Most of them are from the old line called, I think it was World of Springfield. And that is, these are a few figures from that line. So we have Sherry or Terry, I don't know which one, Uder, Daredevil Bart and then we also have some NECA stuff as well so there was that James Brown right there uh, the glow-in-the-dark Mr. Burns and then some of the figures in the back like groundskeeper Willie that was also from the older uh, world of Springfield line along with grandpa there there's a crash bandicoot and there is a, a Spider-Man right there, kind of like in disguise Spider-Man. And I think who made that, I want to say that's a Diamond Select figure, I believe. And then down here, my biggest, most awesome Lego set, R2-D2. Took a long time to build, but man, it's just amazing. I love that guy, I had him for years. And here are some historical female figures in Lego form. There you go. Good stuff. The WWE United Kingdom Championship belt, which is no longer a thing, but I think this is one of the most beautiful belts WWE has ever made. Now we got an Ant-Man helmet from Marvel Legends. Some more DC Multiverse stuff, including some figures that have fallen. But here we go here. A lot of cool figures here. Dark Knight Returns figures. There was a build a horse right there. Another Batman hanging out in the back. From McFarlane, this awesome Batman. It kind of had a couple of different forms. You can have them in that big form or you can just have them with the cloth cape. This is another McFarlane shelf. Got some Warhammer figures out in front. This is a Chaos Space Marine that I painted. This was one of those artist proof ones from McFarlane and I painted him up. This right here is an Ogren from the Dark Tide video game. That is a Necron that I also painted. That one was also a artist proof. And then some others. We got Gunsling Gunslinger Spawn right there. Mandarin Spawn. This is an older figure here. She Spawn? Was that her name? I'm not too sure, but this was more of a statue than an action figure. But she is pretty cool right there. Then we got Violator in the back. The clown fell down. And then way back there, I forgot the name of the giant ape. But he looks awesome as well. All right, where are we at now? Here's another shelf. We got some more NECA stuff. Terminator things over here from T2 Judgment Day. And then we got another Build-A-Figure back there. The Frost King from McFarlane. We got Constantine, Sarah Connor. And then some of the TMNT cross universal monsters figures so there's leonardo michelangelo there's uh, Raphael right there i never got the other ones i need to do that before you can't find them anymore and then just some other terminator stuff back there another wonder woman black adam and the starro build a figure and now the 3d printed stuff some of the 3d printed stuff you guys have seen these all before in some of my previous 3d printed videos here so that is all resin stuff and then a lot of resin things down here as well as things that were printed fdm with filament and then last but certainly not least 
the last shelf where things have fallen into complete disarray. There are some Marvel Legends hanging about right here. I really do like that Captain Carter right there. The Watcher. And then some more 3D printed stuff. Little mini figures right there. All resin. Some that I've painted. Most I have not painted. So they are all right there. Same thing for this shelf down at the bottom. There's some more Lego stuff. More 3D printed things. And then last, at the very bottom, we got some uh, pretty cool vehicles. So I got myself old school Batmobile and Lego. Back to the Future car. Another Lego um, Ecto-1. And then that one right there is the Batman, the animated series Batmobile. And then there's just some regular, some figures that have just fallen down. But that is the display. So I know this was a pretty long video. So if you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. But in case you were curious about what was behind me, that is the display collection. Always subject to change, but it's hard to take some of these down because they're tied to so many different memories. But yeah, that is it, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for checking out this video. Let me know what, which of these figures that you are most interested in, which one was the coolest, and uh, what's the pride and joy of your collection. I'm really curious to know. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you later.